Well, what up, governor? What up, governor, mate? This is my 2022 Denver Broncos versus Jacksonville Jaguars preview. The game literally starts in like 7 hours and 30 minutes. Um, I'll be calling the game on my channel. Probably not going to fucking sleep because I don't want to miss it. Um, set 50 alarms if I ever take a little nap. Um, probably for 8 o'clock. Um, yeah, this game, I'm picking us to fucking win. And here's why. Um, there's a lot of factors. I know everyone's picking us to lose, and I kind of hope we lose. But in a sick way, we're going to win this fucking game. <laughs> in a sick way. Um, so here's the outs. Uh, Tom Compton's out. Who cares? Baron Browning's out. That sucks. So we'll see more Mick, Nick Benino. Um, Tyree Cleveland's out. He barely plays. Bassey's out. Who cares? Uh, Stern is on injury reserve or best damn safety. Like God Six is out. The Australian might. Uh, Andrew Jamal Andrews out. Trayvon Campbell's out. Tyree Gillespie's out. Injury reserve Shaquille Griffin. And yeah, that's and Jamal Agnew is questionable. So yeah, um, the Jags. You know, I gotta worry about Christian Kirk. Uh, you know, no James Robinson. He got traded. Um, literally, the matchup predictor is forty nine point seven to forty nine point seven on the ESPN. So it's pretty fucking evenly matched. I got us winning of a score of twenty one to sixteen. Let's add more curse to 16. I just think we'll win this game because there's jobs on the line. Hackett's jobs on the line. All these coaches' jobs on the line. I think they're, they they got to try hard, man. They got to fucking play hard, and they got to win this game for their sake. Do I want him? Do I want Hackett fired? I kind of want John Elway gone more, obviously, and I want the owners to step up and not half-ass this team. Like it's more, It's a fucking collective. It's a collective bunch, and I hope Hackett has a good game. I hope he calls a good game for this fucking team, and it is for his sake if he wants to keep this fucking job. And his job's on the fucking line. His ass is on the line. He needs to know that, that if they don't win this game, they're going to leave him in fucking London. They're going to keep him in London, and they're going <laughs> to put him as one of the fucking guards at Buckingham Palace because he's a bald fucking head. Oh, my God, interruptions. Um, But, yeah, I think... Yeah, you know, they got Jones, um, Kirk, you know, Josh Allen's a beast. Uh, who did they draft first overall? What's his name? He's good, too. Um, what the f- what was his name? It was with first overall pick 2022. <laughs> he played for Georgia. According Not NHL, you fuck. <laughs> Not a real fake sport. Uh, Trayvon Walker, yeah, um, what's he doing this year? First overall pick, Trayvon Walker. I'm more sort of worried about Josh Allen. Not the quarterback. <laughs> the actual, not the quarterback. The uh, pass rusher. I'm worried about him. He's going to get to the O-line. This O-line, ooh, there's going to be a lot of passes. He only has two sacks and one interception. I remember when he got the pick. Um, but, yeah, so the pass rush, they have a little bit of a pass rush in Jacksonville. Um they got nothing to lose. They're they're a bad team as well. All the teams the Broncos lost to are relatively solid teams right now, except the Raiders. But the Broncos need to win this game if they want to stay anywhere close to relevancy. And because there's nothing to really to lose for, we don't have a first round pick. We don't have a second round pick. Thank you to John Elway ownership, all that shit, and we extended a quarterback that looks terrible. For seven years. But hopefully this game. I know it's against the Jags. Trevor Lawrence. He's struggling. But this could be a game that he can break out. <laughs> it's possible. But I just think we can win this game. Because a lot of jobs are on the fucking line. I think. And they're going to be really desperate to win this game. <laughs> That's why I think. Desperation is going to win this fucking game for the Broncos. Not actually trying. Not pure talent. It's going to be desperation from Hackett and the coaching staff. I wouldn't say everyone's job's on the line. But like everyone on offense. Pretty much. Job's on the line. Um, I think if Hackett gets fired. They're going to move Everett. To uh, head coach. 
and DC would probably be, I don't know, fucking capers, even though he's asked to. But, yeah, I hope Hackett has a good game. I hope he calls a good game. hope this offense does anything. So I am think I say 21-16 just to keep the 16 narrative going. Uh, Broncos win. Um, I don't care if I'm picking the Broncos. I've picked against the Broncos the last two weeks, and it, it's right. But I'm picking for the Broncos this week. Well, not this week. Fucking today. Um, you know, they're already in London. They're preparing. Um, can't wait to watch this game. Never watched the Broncos London game. I watched other London games, but Broncos haven't been in London since 2010. Uh, I just think the Broncos, I don't trust the running game. Melvin Gordon's like one yard per carry. The receivers have to get going. Like Jerry Judy hopefully gets a trade value up. Same with Bradley Chubb, get a couple sacks, you know, if we're going that route, hopefully. Um, you know, even if we win this game, I want to trade at least Bradley Chubb because he's expiring contract. I think so. Even if we win this game, I think Chubb is gone. If we lose this game, I think a lot of more players are gone. But I think if we win this game, it's a bye week, the trade deadline. So I think we ship Chubb and probably Albert O to give Doltage more opportunity um, at tight end and give Benito opportunity at uh, edge rusher because guess what? Guess what? We drafted him over fucking, what's his name? Abraham Lucas, which we need to tackle more. But this fucker, John Elway or Payne, I don't know which one's which, who made this pick, drafted Nick Benino, an edge rusher, which we had Bradley Chubb on a contract year. You know, and he's looking pretty good. 5.5 sacks. Yeah, he slowed down a little bit, but he's still looking better than what he has been in the last few years. And now we have no choice but to trade him probably. And it sucks. I love Bradley Chubb. Yeah, he's not an elite pass rusher that we thought he was because of injuries and shit, but he's a solid pass rusher. And uh, I'm going to miss him in Denver when we trade him, which I think he's going to be traded. I don't give a shit about all the noise. He's going to be traded eventually. Um, hopefully, Cortland looks. Hopefully, Cortland and Judy look good. Uh, oh, I don't trust the O line, so I don't think we're going to run the ball good. Hopefully, Travis ATN makes a mistake. Like he did against the Giants, but I think the Giants have a better overall team in defense right now. But I think our defense is solid the way it is, even though fucking injured as fuck. Um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll get blown out, but I, I give us a win. I'm giving us the win because of desperation. I think Hackett's going <laughs> to somehow call all right game. And uh, hopefully Russ looks good. Um, you know, he's back off the injury, off the hamstring and shoulder hopefully it looks good and then going into the bye he can recover even more if they win go into the bye recover Russ and hopefully he can have a solid season when it doesn't fucking matter and build for next year because this season has been a fucking disappointment so far you know it's been a really a disappointment for us Bronco fans I guess Jaguar fans too because they they started off the season pretty well but then they like lost to Houston they lost to Philly, which don't fucking you don't you don't have to be ashamed of that they're the best team in football right now. Um, they lost to a few teams that they lost to the Colts. They beat the Colts and then they lost to the Colts. So like both teams are really struggling, but Broncos had way more expectations this year and they fucking blew it. So whoever wins this game truly loses it at the end of the day. Um, the Broncos win this game. Hackett keeps his job. Jags win this game, they get a lower draft pick. And, uh, you know, but I think Jags are going to, they're just going to fumble this game away and Hackett's trying to keep his job, and that's why I think it's going to happen. That's all I got to say. Peace. Go Broncos. Hopefully we get the win. And, uh, you know, I know it doesn't matter in standings and shit, playoffs and shit, but I just want to see my team win. I don't give a shit, man, about losing at this point. We have nothing to lose for. You know, we have nothing to lose for. Like, there's no losing for a high draft pick in the second round or first round. We have to try to get some assets. So we got to build up these players that we're trying to trade and, uh, you know, get the W. So that's all I got to say. Peace. Go Broncos. Hope it's a good game in London. And uh, hopefully you guys have a great day. Peace.